After a dismal debut in the NBA, I expected the social media to show up with regrets and demands for compensation on drafting a bus so high up in the lottery. I couldn't believe the support Donnie pulled down instead. Fans seemed to be supportive despite such disgusting numbers placed up, and never even thought to blame him as part of the cause. But what about after a second straight blowout loss? You guys got blown out second game in a row. How does this team recover from this? Yeah, that was a tough one, man. It's one thing to have one bad game, but two in a row? <sighs> Coach ain't gonna be happy about this one. I expect quite a bit of running and early morning practice in our future after that performance. We gotta do something to right this ship. One bad game can get swept under the rug, but two? Now you're testing patience. Looks like the lumps are starting to come in and the expectations are riding high. Time to step up and carry this workload or prepare to become the scapegoat. Houston, you're gonna have a problem. Yo guys, this is Jared, aka The Saint of Sins on Xbox Live, bringing you back onto the road to Springfield with Donnie Basket. So oh god, sweet jumping baby Jesus, no! Stop! Stop this madness! Fuck! Dashboard, dashboard, dashboard! Why isn't it dashboarding quicker? Oh, thank god. Um... Let's start over. Too far. You know what? Screw it. Let's just get into Houston for this game. We're entering into the Toyota Center for the first time this season to take on the equally miserable 0-2 Rockets. Right now, this looks like a battle for the worst team in the league, as we fight for the honor of avoiding 0-3. Oh dear god, this is the type of game no one would ever want to watch. And yet, here we are as Donnie looks to roll out there and raise his stock and gain some trust in Portland. You know what? I'm being too pessimistic. Maybe the Trailblazers can finally do the smart thing and close out in the second half. Maybe Terry Stotts can maintain a strategy that helps to balance off a second half surge. Maybe I'm over-rationalizing this given we're still early into this season. Who knows, maybe we'll get some good basketball out of this one. Right? I mean, we're due for some kind of turnaround, right? Donnie, help. Oh good, let's roll out here and see what we're working with. Down one with just a little over four on the clock. Well damn, looks like this might be a real tight game. Let's see what kind of offensive set we're running here. Well, that's fucking typical. No set plays being run. Stotts, you get paid to sit courtside and just watch us ball, don't you? That's your setup, huh? Screw it. If that's how we're rolling, eat this, Royce. Mmm, fundamental hook shot, bitch. Oh, thank Christ. Donnie isn't jogging off to the bench somewhere. Why does that always happen after the first possession I get on the floor for? Thankfully, it looks like we can still ball for a little while longer. Maybe that first game was a glitch, a fluke, a random error. Why do I feel like I'm setting myself up for a substitution here? I've done this before. This, right here, is my deja vu. That little snide bastard is going to slowly spring up from the depths of hell and ask if there's a problem any second now because I'm setting it up. Nope, I can't think like that. This is my game to take charge of, and damn it, I'm going to take over. I'm not going to become the victim of Stott shenanigans. I... I totally walked right into that one. MOTHERFUCKER! What the hell is wrong with this team? A 9-2 run between the time I left in the first to the time I returned to the floor in the second? Just... But... Why? Stotts, you silly bastard! What the hell do you tell these guys to do when I'm not out there? Tank so hard is not a slogan we should be pitching to our fans within the first three games of our season. Okay, hold on. Let me center myself. <sighs> this team will not sink me in my attempt to raise myself and them alongside me. I will make contenders of these pretenders even if it kills me. This team will turn the corner with me at the helm guiding them to greatness because god damn it I'm the fucking sheriff. This handlebar was destined for greatness. Now let's collect on our first assist of our career. Fuck yeah! America, bitch! Rock hard and glistening in its own beauty. Where'd I go just then? Sorry, my apologies. I kind of blacked out and don't recall the last 20 seconds of life. I think it's this team. 
They're really starting to get to me. Oh god, this team is breaking me down and it's because of shit like that. Lynn hurls it up and Parson goes and fetches it for the perfect alley-oop, despite having the lane clogged off to him. And I've been out on the floor too long. Oh, merciless dildo wary Mary of Magdalene. Why am I still out on the floor? Studs, buddy, pal, um, forget about what I said about your wife. Can I come rest my tuckus on the bench, please? Oh, God, the burning pain of having to run this court with base stamina is torturous. This is because you saw me key your car, isn't it, you asshole? I know I've been asking for a lot of minutes. Most of the ones owed me, but this is fucking ridiculous! Terry, I didn't need all of these minutes jammed onto me in one quarter. You're really serious about me pulling this team within five, huh? How the fuck can I manage that if I'm too tired to hit shots? Damn it! I'm too tired to keel over! Two minutes on the bench. It's all I'm asking for now. I'll be ready to roll out and do some damage once I get two minutes. Please? I can't even play solid defense. Yes! 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 Victory is mine! My third foul of the game! Stash will have no choice but to pull me from the game! Why? Why am I not crawling over to the bench? Am I really going to run out here for almost 12 full minutes? Okay, I'm a big enough boy. I'll suck it up and push. It's what the team needs of me. No, it's what they demand of me. Let's play smart and tight. We can close this gap. This team is responsive to how I'm playing, and if I press on almost no gas, they're sure to feed off of my raw energy to help out and make their shots, or press their man to force contested shots. Man the fuck up, baskets! Portland demands it of you, sissy boy. Even when we aren't getting breaks our way, we're fighting. We're still pushing. We're still stepping forward, locking key, marching towards narrowing this gap to something far more manageable. This team will not be blown out a third game in a row. Not on my fucking watch. Because winners, nay, champions never stay down when they fall. Okay, that one was my bad. But it's only one bad position. We're still in it. Ahem. Um. That also was my bad. Oh no, the team is really starting to slip alongside me now. The second I allow two scores, now we can't function as a unit. Well, that about secures it. We folded up shop for this half. That dynamic goal was a bust. Let's just roll right into this halftime report. What? You're kidding me. No, no, that's it. And those kind of shots are such a big lift for any team going into a break. And a tight game here as we end the first half. Rockets ahead, leading by five. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. Now, presented by Sprint. The fun has begun on this Saturday night, and we're ready to look back at all the first half action. Out in Houston, the Rockets with the lead against Portland. Great energy and aggression offensively, making their own luck with a lot of second chance points. A great performance by Jeremy Lin in the first half. He's got 13 points, and he's stacking up the assist too, keeping the defense off balance with his passing. And for Portland's angle, they've been grinding away. Looking to get back on the right track while the season's still young, We'll see if they can tack on a win here tonight. A tremendous first half for LaMarcus Aldridge. He's got 10 points and has been grabbing a few rebounds too. Now let's get back over to Kevin Harlan and the rest of our crew as the second half gets underway. Oh, sorry, I uh... I'm not gonna lie. I actually wanted to stop the commentary after that half-court chuck-up. Seriously, 2K? I was grinding to bring my team within five, trying to play smart, but when I slipped up and it felt like my teammates weren't helping me out, I decided to give up on the goal. Then you go and hand it to me like that. I really feel like you're trolling the ever-loving shit out of me. We had our looks to narrow that gap on some legit shots that we couldn't knock down, but I guess it's better to be lucky than smart. Or talented. Or driven. 
Okay, that's in the past. Let's focus on this half now. So with my fourth foul under my belt, it's safe to assume that I'm playing a bit recklessly and with a bit of blind fury. And why not? I mean, Damian Lillard is absolutely killing me on this floor. Three for ten. Three, four, ten. I feel that's enough of an insult to not have to linger off onto other verbal beratings that I could and probably would spill out on him. But shit, I'm not shooting well myself. I really, really didn't want to lose this one. For that, I overplayed my role at times, forcing up some shots that I wish I could have taken back, reaching with some reckless abandon, overstepping my man on offense to try and cut off passing lanes, but instead creating them. I was a fucking mess. Or at least I was becoming a bigger mess than I already was. So much so that my new dynamic goal was to hit my next two shots. That's right. Forget about closing gaps or bringing the team within five. Coach wants me to focus on just trying to conceal as much of the shit I've laid out on this bed to avoid being compared to such classic bed shitters as Tony Romo or Mark Sanchez. My fears of the fans rebelling against me are slowly becoming reality with every agonizing minute on the court. Oh yeah, let's give it to Patterson at the perimeter. I can't even keep in front of my man, I'm such a fucking disaster right now. Hell, even I want to lynch me for how bad a bust I'm becoming. And everything only seems to be getting worse for myself. Do you feel that? That pressing, nagging feeling at the back of your neck? Yeah, that's the pressure mounting and the hatred of the fans slowly starting to climb on you. Earth to Donnie! If you want to have a meaningful career, you better learn to carry this burden of a pain and play through the adversity. Otherwise, your timid, soft, pale ass will get eaten alive. And you can't just blame it all on bad breaks or poor management. Some of the fault has to lie within yourself for just playing like a straight up fucking jackass. Like earlier, going for post fadeaways? You don't have that in your repertoire just yet, young man. You've barely got the hook down. Failing to successfully box out? That's going to leave you hanging your team out to dry. Leaving your assignment to try and crash boards you have no positioning on? That's going to torch you. Are you starting to pick up the clues, Blue? Time to take responsibility for the mess you are, Donnie. Fuck what the teammate grade says, you're not playing to the caliber of an A- tonight, you're struggling out there, you're lumbering around looking tired and confused, your stamina is the shits, you're breathing so hard you're making Dave Batista look like an Ironman marathon athlete, you're moving like you've got 5 tons of lead in your feet, and a tree trunk lodged all the way up your ass, you've got no hustle, no rhythm, no heart, you're broken goods and you're not even 5 games into your career. Maybe you should join some of the Cubs 2001 farm system in bagging groceries at your local deli. What else good are you? You're forcing everything trying to look like a star out there. Trying to salvage your stock and save the team in one fell swoop. You're trying to be the captain of a sinking ship with aspirations of saving it. And the sad part is, you've convinced yourself you can do all of this. Reality check. You're playing hurt out there and you're not. You're playing tired. You're stretching yourself thin, thinking you can do everything, and the truth is beginning to look like you can't do anything. You wanted to prove something tonight. Well, you're doing a bang-up fucking job of that. You're proving to Portland that you are the worst pickup they could have made in the draft. So now the question becomes, what are you going to do about it? This one isn't on the team. We both know who really wanted this win, and you didn't come prepared. Fuck what the stats say at the end, because all that matters is the W, and you're not getting it. No amount of what ifs is going to change the outcome of this one. You're stuck with it. So what comes next?
The team struggled to stay in the game tonight, and the final score ended up not being even close. Do you think there was anything you or the team could have done differently to change the outcome? Nah, not really. I mean, like Kobe says, we just wet the bed tonight. A nice big one, too. One of the ones you can't put a towel over. Not one of our best efforts by any stretch, but you have to roll with the punches, move on, and get back out there again next time. When everything goes wrong, and it's not one little thing that pushed you over the edge, it's a lot easier to just put it aside and move on to the next game. And that's what we got to try to do here.